our next poet, um, his last name is also hard to pronounce, um, but his first name is Stephen. So I'm just going to say Stephen and say that he's tall, and he'll know who I'm talking about. And he'll come up here and he'll tell me how to pronounce his last name, probably, because he's a nice guy. And he's going to start walking. Now he's going to start walking over here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Tall Guy! <laughs> Okay, um, so I knew it was bad love poetry night, I didn't give a shit, because I didn't want to read really bad love poetry, because uh, it's cringe-worthy, it's like seeing your dad flirt and all that good stuff, so it's not necessary to read. So I'm going to uh, read some stuff I haven't read before, so here you go, get, get excited, thank you, all right. <laughs> His first one's called Debt of Man. My new hire is already lazy, depositing his promises in the tin can telephone that extends on a fishing line to the next room. It's tenant, broken starlight on freshly laid carpet. The window frosted like bank office glass and pitted with the paw scratches of lovers who could never reach forever. The cat language of locks clicking shut and empty barn stall doors. A spilt milk dawn, coast fruit blossoms, colored the shade midmost between berry and black. My costume is that of a cured disease of being, sealed like leftovers in a layer of spotless skin. My pockets lined with the treacherous nature of scout badges, found years after the skill disappeared, boyhood twice survived. I'm calling out from this emergency and killing the famished light slowly by way of my authority over words and dimmer switches. <laughs> this poem's for people that get home at 9.30 in the morning. My kind of trouble. The roads are hallways. Snow brightens the corners. The errant paths of failed stars stuck in the slush that leaves stains on our souls. My eyes are hot from drink, my mouth sucked free of its spit. Last night lingers on the lip like a name or a bruise. She likes the way I handle her dealers, the way I dress when I want to look capable. The boys keep her at an arm's length as a sister till she strips to southern anthems, played out of season. The frost on the glass resembles the screaming faces in the wood grain. No one speaks when there's a breakdown in the bathroom, when there's a trip on the stairs, when there's boxing in the backyard. I've never seen morning at this angle, curtains washed through with sun, threadbare skin, sour candy slick. I don't mind you smoking pot or the way you craft your words as if to enrage or challenge. I live for these petty dangers, my kind of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> 